empty. You ain't gonna like this when I'm telling you. You will not like this. Jeremiah chapter number 17. Got some scriptures we want to read. find that scripture say amen Jeremiah chapter number 17 amen. verse number 9 amen. the word of the Lord said the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked who can know it is that in your Bible? Yes. I'm going to talk very briefly today from the subject heart condition. Heart condition. I'm getting ready to cuss up in here real good and hard. Heart condition. I'm going to do the best I can. Y'all, you all right. I'm, I'm, I'm saved, y'all. I'm got good to say now. I'm gonna cut out that today. But I'm, I'm really gonna cuss now. Somebody say, I got a heart condition. Uh huh. Say, I got a heart condition. All right. Young's literal translation of this text is interesting. It says, crooked is the heart above all things, and it is incurable. Who doth know? I'm coming at you now. Your little demon won't sit up in here. I'm coming at you in a minute. I got you. We see the very generator of our lives. The pump of the heart is crooked. Watch me now. It's off-centered. Its nature is wicked. And there is absolutely no cure for its state. It can only get worse. And it pumps pollution through the body. It pumps the blood. All of the blood in your body goes through the heart. And if the heart is wicked, it sends wickedness. That's good. That's good. All right. I'm coming at us to every, watch this, every part of the body. Now, we keep acting like we don't know what the problem is. Yeah, come. See, folks sitting up in here right now, and I'm glad I got you where I want you. Sit up in here right now, and you act like you love God, you act like you love the church, act like you love Bishop, but when things don't go your way, the true heart comes out. You can't love and sit and pout too. Your heart is wicked. When the truth come to you, you sit up in power. Oh, you ain't got to say that now. I'm coming at you. You can't tell them for you love them, and when you see them in a dilemma, you get joy. Your heart ain't right. Let's let's stop the dumb stuff. Let's stop talking about, I wonder what's wrong with 
with folk. I wonder why folk do what they do. If your heart has not been changed, ain't nothing going to change in your walk. When you get saved, yeah, your heart changes. But if your heart don't change, you can say, I look at my hands and they look new. These are the same hands that used to steal. If you like me this morning and you got ditches, when you got saved, you still going to have ditches unless the Lord work a miracle. And push up these things here and give you some new ones. If you fat and you get saved this morning, when you get up off the floor, however you receive him, you will be fat when you get up. Salvation does not change the flesh. It's the heart that changes the flesh. I wish I could preach up here. But see, what we do is we change the flesh and don't do nothing with the heart. And so all of the good things that the flesh does, the heart cancels it out. Because it's an incurable cancer. All right, all right. Yes, sir. We'll see. Oh, have mercy. Have mercy. Yes, sir. Let's look at Matthew chapter 15. Folk want to talk about what defile a man. We want to point fingers at what folk do. And most of the things we point our finger at is stuff we don't do. But all unrighteousness. Y'all ain't saying nothing to me. Don't come telling me nothing nobody done if, unless you free. Ye without sin. Cast the first son. The Bible said all the disciples hit the hand. What defileth a man? If you look at verse uh, 10, you're there, it's not up on the screen, but if you look at verse 10 and the B clause, he says, hear and understand. See, just call you hear and you ain't understand. <laughs> Some of y'all sitting right here, hearing, but you tune me out, but you'll be all right. I'm going to show you what tune out is next week. And the week after that, uh -huh. and the month after that, again, I'm no longer struggling for folk who could care less about me. Amen. 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 That's good. Amen. 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 Okay, who you are, mama, daddy, sister, brother, aunt, uncle, children, it don't matter. That's right. He said, here and understand. Yes, yes sir. What you hear, be able to stand under it. Can I tell you? Yes, sir. All right, verse number 11. He said, not that which goeth into the mouth defileth a man, but that which cometh out of the mouth, this defileth a man. It ain't what you eat. In other words, it, it's not the petty stuff. It's not the junk we talking about. He said, she said, and they don't like me all. It's not the dumb stuff we popping over today. All right. That's not what the father the man. Mm -hmm. Move on down to 17. Yes, sir. Do you not yet understand? Yes, yes. You still stuck on stupid. Uh, <laughs> Come on, y'all. Uh -huh. That whatsoever entereth in at the mouth go into the bed and is cast out into the drop. It go in the commode. All right. Yes, sir. I'm going to keep it that way. But those things which proceed out of your mouth come from your heart. Uh oh That's what defile a man. How you can smile in folk's face and talk about them behind their back. Skinny grin in folks' face yeah. and then lie 
demon tonight behind the back. Yeah. If you like them, you like them. If you don't, you don't. That's all right. And if you can't stand on one or the other side, your heart ain't right. Amen. Even Jesus said, I'd rather let you be hard or cold. I know we ain't gonna like this one today. 